Hey guys, so funny thing about cross posting your videos to social media. I had a lot of responses from my friends. Um, one of my friends who is in retail or has been in retail with me, so sometimes companies don't care about how customers treat their employees because they're out for a quick buck. Um, last time I posted a video about the guy who touched me across the counter at work and how it messed with my personal space. Um, and one of my friends basically said, he, very angrily, he shouldn't have touched you. And then another of my friends, this really amused me, says, I'll skull drag him down an alley for you, Captain. <laughs> I love that. So, this has just been an interesting response to the video. Um, I don't really know how to respond except to say thank you guys. So, on, um, the, on the topic, continued topic of consent, there was a bit of an amusing incident last night after I posted my video. A friend messaged me on Facebook, asked me to loan him, like, a hundred dollars and everything, and... I said, well, I don't know, you know, I'm going to get the emails to how much I'm going to be paid now. You know, I have some other expenses, but, you know, I'll see if I can loan you a little something towards bills. And then the same friend text messaged me and said, hey, are you talking to me on Facebook? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, guess what? That's not me, and somebody has hacked my account. So, once I knew this, I started talking to this person. Business as usual, right? Pretending like she was, yeah, because it was a she. Um, all the pictures were of this person were f female and inappropriate. Yeah, she basically took down all his pictures and hacked his account. But what I did was I said to this person, I said, well, you know, maybe if you could get to town, if you need the extra money, maybe you could donate some plasma and everything. And... And I said, well, I had a friend who used to do that for extra cash, but he couldn't eat for a couple of days. I knew this person wasn't from around here, and they would just kind of go with it. And I said, well, yeah, and I said, yeah, and he really couldn't keep much down after that, you know, except for pickles. And even then, you know, he couldn't eat them without throwing up, and... They're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, seriously, what I did is I, you know, I remember once, you know, he pranked me real bad, and I duct taped him to a tree, and ate pickles while he watched. Of course, you know, he puked all over the park, and everybody around just sort of puked by proxy. And they, and this person said, well, that's not good. And then I said, oh, yeah, and then there was the pickle Sunday. And I proceeded to tell him this made-up story about having made a banana split sort of Sunday and, you know, infusing pickles into the ice cream and infusing pickle juice into the cherries and pickles into the sauce and then 
And I said, and the masterpiece of this was the banana. And I proceeded to describe having taken a pickle and shaped mar shaping mar pickle flavored marzipan around it to simulate a banana so it looked real and you know infusing it with pickle flavor and saying that he puked all over the ice cream shop and I said and then there were the pickle tacos needless to say we aren't allowed in that Taco Bell anymore yes I'm just a little bit evil well this person has blocked me but my friend says he's going to try to get his Facebook account back but I did try to get him a little bit of help doing that because let's face it I have had my Facebook account hacked before and it is not fun you know these people think it's you know an awesome thing so yes last video was about treating people badly you don't know when you get hacked it is that ultimate invasion of privacy the ultimate uh, compromising of consent you didn't consent for them to go into your account hack the password change your pictures send your friends all this spam no you didn't and my friend probably feels really violated right now and I am feeling violated for him because this person has not just committed an affront to my friend this guy is family he has messed with my own this person does not meet want to meet me down a back alley with my sword in hand <laughs> don't worry um, the only thing my sword has ever really killed is a tent but you get the idea why do we feel the need to insult people we don't know? We're rude to people on the internet, even. When one of our friends, even, posts something that we don't agree with, we bash them for their views. I have another friend who is tired of posting his opinion and then everybody just bashing him for it um me i go well okay i respect your opinion i don't agree with it but you know hey it is who you are and it is what you believe and I respect that I agree to disagree with them and I just think about that there are so many groups that they will be there for fun and be there for humor and then they say one thing that's off and their post gets pulled because one little person got offended. Jeez. I hated that for this to be for a what's this world coming to rant, but let's face it. This is what it's become. We're rude to our friends. We're rude to people we don't know. Our society is rude I mean even when people are being kind to us and what do I try to do every day at work I try to at least smile I try to at least say hello I try to at least 
be polite. And look what that got me, you know. Somebody thinking my register was a bar stool. Imagine that. Well, that's all for tonight. And yes, this has been a little bit of a rant, but what do you do, right? That's just me. Take care. Have a good night.